Hello everyone, my name is Gabe Corpus and I'm one of the doctoral interns at the Counseling Center for the 2021 to 2022 academic year. I was also a UC Irvine alumni as well, graduating in 2014. And it is my pleasure to introduce you this video today, which is gonna be highlighting all of the Counseling Center resources that are accessible to you as an undergraduate or graduate student at UCI. If you're watching this video right now, you might be considering therapy and what type of service is best for you or you might have already scheduled your first appointment and are set to come in soon. Regardless, uh, this video is gonna be one of two. It's gonna help you get associated and familiar with all the different Counseling Center resources that we have here. First of all, where is the Counseling Center? Well, the main office is located right behind me and you can find it if you are in Student Center and you look right across Ring Road from Starbucks or you can find us right next to the Career Center as well. We also have our annex location of the Counseling Center, which can be found in the Student Center on the fourth floor. The Counseling Center provides a wide variety of services that are free and confidential for students to use to achieve optimal mental health for academic success, personal growth, or just dealing with some of the stressors that a lot of university students experience. So let's go ahead and go inside and learn a little bit more about what Counseling Center services are and what may fit you. All right, so the first Counseling Center service we're gonna talk about are one session appointments. Sometimes talking to a professional for 45 to 50 minutes might be all a student needs to get through a specific issue. So students should schedule this type of appointment if they're one, not in crisis, and two, if they feel like one session is all they need to discuss their concerns. The Counseling Center also offers a variety of therapy services that are more involved than a one session appointment. Let's talk about group therapy next. We have many groups offered every single quarter, focusing on a variety of topics ranging from social anxiety, uh, creating authentic connections with others, being a graduate student, and more. If you're interested in seeing what group therapy services we offer right now, I recommend going to our website to find out more. You may also be interested in individual therapy instead. And at this point, it's really important to think about if you're interested in short-term therapy or interested in something more open-ended or longer term. For example, if you want therapy that lasts for more than a couple of months and is more frequent than every other week, then short-term therapy might not be the best fit for you at this time. If this is the case, it might be best for you to sign up for a resource and referral support appointment. This type of appointment is when you speak with one of our amazing social workers who gives you assistance in finding community referrals or specialty mental health care services. Uh, they also can help you find resources related to food, housing, or financial aid. If you do want short-term therapy, essentially that looks like meeting with a therapist every few weeks for around two to three months. The place to start with that is the initial assessment. In this assessment, the therapist will work with you to actually determine if short-term therapy might be a good fit for you at this time. Essentially, you'll meet with a therapist who will ask you a series of questions dedicated to getting a comprehensive assessment of what's going on for you right now. They'll ask about your background information, some of your presenting concerns, and develop a treatment plan and recommendations for you going forward. Your initial assessment therapist will connect you to the services that are best for you, whether that be short-term therapy, group therapy, or a long-term specialty mental health care referral in the community. Keep in mind there's going to be a second video about what to expect during your initial assessment, and that'll be linked below as well. The Counseling Center also offers a variety of other important services as well. One of these services are crisis care appointments, which are for students that are either in crisis or just can't wait for their scheduled session. Students in crisis include those that have had suicidal thoughts recently, thoughts of hurting others, uh, or have experienced a sexual assault or a recent trauma in their life, or have experienced a death of a significant person in their family. We offer crisis care services 24 hours, seven days a week. And to access those services, you can either call the Counseling Center phone number on the screen or drop in during our business hours to speak with a mental health professional. After business hours, you can still continue to use that phone number and follow the phone instructions essentially 
to get in contact with a mental health professional. We also provide short-term relationship therapy for when all individuals within the relationship are UCI students. To get started in this process, you would have to schedule a relationship initial assessment appointment, and all individuals within that relationship need to be available for that first assessment. Another service we provide are drop-in workshops, which are held every single quarter and vary on topic. You don't need an initial assessment to join these, and all you have to do is just keep up to date on terms of where they are, the type of locations, and sign up lists. Another service we provide is actually outside of the Counseling Center through our outreach and prevention programming. You may see us tabling on Ring Road or in your classroom, department, or organization, giving uh, talks on stress management or time management. So if you do see us out on the campus, feel free to come by and say hi. You also may see us post information about these programs online, so feel free to follow one of our many social media accounts on the screen. We also provide peer services through our peer service programs, and you can learn a little bit more about those on our website. We have three current peer programs right now. We have the LGBTQ Peers Program, Peer Educators Program, and the Coach Program. So feel free to go on our website to learn a little bit more. Lastly, we offer an online self-help program called HOW, which hosts a full library of mental health education on topics on social anxiety, stress management, substance abuse, depression, and so on. So feel free to check that out when you have time. And with that, you now know about all the different counseling center services that we provide. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the services that I listed or I talked about, feel free to go to our Counseling Center website to learn a little bit more about them. Other than that, thank you, be well, and have a wonderful day.